Aries, this is your reading for the week starting the 21st of August and these are the cards from the Teacup Tarot deck. So it's a general reading, so take everything which resonates, leave anything else behind, but most of, importantly enjoy the reading. So let's get on with yours. So your overall energy is card 20, Reflection. And this is exactly what it says on the card. And here she is. Look, our lovely angel. She just put the rucksack down and she's having a rest. She's having a break. And even better, she's having a pot of tea because she's thinking. She's reflecting. She's realising how far she's come and how well she's doing. But her sights are set clearly on this signpost. And you have to look really closely for that. But it says, climb to new heights. So what she's actually doing is just taking that time out and thinking and pausing. And this is what you need to be doing this week. And then where to next? Just start to have a think of which direction you want to go, what you would like to be working towards. Now, your help or your hurdle with this in charges the Knight of Teacups on the motorbike, all very fast moving energy. And this card says, just stay balanced, just go steady. So it follows on from this reflection card really well. So it isn't a week to go rushing off and doing something straight away. It's a week to just relax and reflect. Just gather your thoughts as to where you want to go next, because... Coming up, Ace of Coins. This is a wonderful new opportunity coming in. And if we look at the card, look, she's found the keys to the treasure chest. Those are what she found while she was reflecting and thinking. And now she's opened that treasure chest. And here is that golden opportunity right in front of her. So something new, abundance coming in, a new opportunity. Now, it might be a new job. It might be a new career even. It could be a pay rise. It could be a new area of study. So something coming in to find you this week, just make sure that you are awake and ready to move towards that opportunity. Look, that's what she's doing in here. She's moving towards it. And that's just what you need to be mindful of. How can we help ourselves? We've got the Hermit card and this card says it's time for you to step up. It's time for you to show the world what you know. Be that guiding light for other people to follow. So stepping up into a leadership role could be featuring for you this week. Pulling it all together, we've got card 16, Life Experience. This is all about learning from the past, taking all those pearls of wisdom with you. Look, she's got a little pearl of wisdom in a shell here. All of that wisdom, all of that life experience, taking all that knowledge and making positive changes now. And your final outcome card's lovely, the Four of Wands. It's a card of celebration. It's a card of you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. So clearly going to take notice of this new opportunity because here's the celebration at the end of the reading here. So just looking at your tarot cards, rest, reflect, think things over and just go steady. When this lovely opportunity shows up, it's time for you to step up. It's time for you to show the world what you know. Making positive changes to get yourself there and learning from the past. So what worked in the past, what didn't work in the past. All of that experience and wisdom is here to help you. And then reason to celebrate. Here it is, look. Here's the reason to celebrate and you being appreciated. Now, we'll get a little bit more clarification here from the Time to Shine deck. The One of Life card here is lovely. Same card, different deck, double message. Angels talking loudly. Universe 
in capital letters. Time to open doors to new opportunity and enjoy new abundance coming in. The nine of action says keep going, stay motivated. Just have self-belief, self-support. Yes, that's important. The I can do it frame of mind. And just stay determined and keep on moving forward. The seven of action says you might need to be a little bit assertive this week. And that's absolutely fine. You might need to stand up for yourself. And that's fine as well. As long as you do so with kindness. Because that will get you so much further, so much faster. The 12 of wisdom says just be lovely you. Don't try to be anybody else. Everybody else is taken. And this card also says, look at things with a different perspective. So have another look at things and just see if there's a different way of looking at them because that will serve you well. The seven of emotion says you might have more than one option to choose from this week. So this says stand back and look at them all. And look here on the card. She's got a choice between a cactus or a sunflower. Choose the sunflower. Take your time. This is what we're saying here. Stay balanced and re reflect. Think things over. Look at all your options carefully. And then you know when you choose that you're choosing just the right thing for you. And you're clearly going to do that because the final card is the Ten of Emotion. It's one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's happy family life, happy home life, trustworthy relationships, emotional fulfilment, and it has happiness and joy written all over it. So looking at all the cards together, your mindfulness homework this week, take your time, just go steady. Stay motivated. Stand up for yourself if you need to and be individual, lovely you. And take your time over your decisions. Because wonderful opportunities are here. Golden opportunities are here. Positive changes coming in. You stepping up into this leadership role and shining your light in the world and a wonderful, happy outcome to follow. So a lovely week for you. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference to me. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now, and I'll see you soon.